Oh gosh, I was driving through here. All of a sudden, these barriers come down and the train came out of nowhere. Let's head down to Morgan's Motors and let's get this thing tuned up. Well, good morning, guys. We're heading to work here again. I've missed my coffee. Woke up a little late, so I didn't get no coffee this morning. All right, let's pull in. We're taking the best parking spot today. Number one employee right here. Good morning, boss man. Good morning. How you doing? Pretty good. You remember yesterday? Well, the whole last week I was telling you I was looking for some land to buy. Yeah. We'll come out here real quick. Come on. Come on. Okay. See that hill? I own this land here. Yeah, no, I understand. Hill. I understand. You see the hill that yeah. you don't own? Yeah, Mitch's land. What's what's up? Yeah, Mitch, the neighbor, the one that you got in a few scuffles a few years back. Okay, you guys don't okay, like each okay, other. Okay. That's in the past. We we don't talk about that. No, he yeah. still he still like hates you. He I oh. so anyway, I went to him and I was like, Hey, is that like little hill acre up there? Could I could I you know, is that for sale? He's like, No, no. And I explained to him, I was like, oh, I work for Boss Man. And he's like, oh, really? I was like, yeah, I uh, I do. And I'm trying to build a house up there. So I overlook his business and look down on him. And when I told him that, he was gung ho and he sold it to me for five grand. What? Yeah, five okay. grand an acre, man. That's so cheap. I've been, I've been trying to buy that land for the past, like, I don't know, 10 years. How, how did you convince him by just saying it's going to be looking down on me? That's... Yeah, I said I work ah. for you. Eventually, I'm going to quit from here and probably take you over or something what? and he's like what? oh what? yeah is that yeah. wait oh. you're gonna do what now no nothing that's just something i told mitch are you gonna be building something there what's yeah. the plan today i'm gonna need your help i'll pay you five dollars an hour and you're gonna help me build my new house because i'm sick and tired of living you know kind of out of out of a trailer so make it seven dollars an hour and you give me a cookie for snack all right 650 you got a deal 10 four shake on it Oh, stop with this. Jake okay, okay. Okay, fine. There you go. I need to get on a more proper fit because I don't want to get this thing. Dirty. You get your little outfit all put together. I know you like to look cute for the Instagram pictures. I'm going to jump in the Kubota tractor, go pick up a roller that I'm renting, some construction equipment, and I'll meet you up there. 10-4. Okay. Sounds right. Take good. my truck Wait. or the, you know what? Take my truck or the dump trailer or the dump truck. What if I just walk? It's it's like. No, bring my, I need, I got equipment and tools in there. Okay. Okay. So here's my camper and I got the roller delivered last night, which was really nice that they delivered it, but they delivered it to my address and not the address of the, uh, of the acre of what we're going to be building on. No big deal. I can move it myself, but the guy hauled it with an 18 wheeler, man. And I'm just using this. So hopefully it works. We've done crazy stuff with this before. I remember a few weeks back. Let me know if you guys remember, we hauled some crazy pieces of equipment on here. I got short term memory loss, so I can't remember what the heck we were doing, but this thing is a cat CP 56. I'm going to look up my phone real quick, see how much that weighs, but this is, this is squatting the tires. It's going to pop some tires here. We got her loaded down. I looked online, didn't get too good at numbers, but it's somewhere around 30,000 pounds, which is a lot. But I think we've hauled... Oh yeah, that's right. We hauled an excavator with this thing. That excavator was like 80,000 pounds and the trailer handled it. So this is going to be the road. The reason why I'm building right here is one, to kind of stick it to boss man, be like, hey, I bought some land that you could have buy overlooks your, you know, business. But then also a short drive to work. It is a cool view over the lake I built. So I don't know. It's close to home. It should be good. We might have to take down that big tree right there, but we'll try and leave it. There we go. Got it unloaded. Boss, man, what the heck are you wearing? You said you were going to change. I did. Look, look at my pants, man. What the heck? Look, look at my gloves, my boots, my hat. Is that a, what do you call those? Fedoras? I no, don't know. Something else. I just know I look cool in it. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. You're going to be changing out of that soon. But here's the roller we're going to use to kind of flatten the land. I'm thinking the house is going to be built. We're going to try and leave. I love that big tree right there, but we'll see. Don't know where exactly we're going to put the driveway, but I want to try and keep everything fairly minimal. Okay. So how big is this place going to be? I'm thinking we might grade a little bit out here, but like where I'm standing to here to here i mean it's just gonna be me so no big deal it's gonna be just a nice simple square Set my trucks come in here with these blocks it's new construction material and it puts together pretty much like lego so it should be easy oh, okay that sounds good so you know how to use that thing you'll start rolling this thing yeah out? i used to run i probably got two thousand hours on one of these i used to run these back in the day uh, okay i don't really believe you but Hey, if you can do it, then that's all that matters. Goldcrest Highway? Heck, I was on mm. one of these for like a year straight building that thing. Wow, you, you're, you've done a lot of jobs. Okay. Don't get in front of me, boss man. I got to level this ground out here. Get it nice and compacted. We got the sheep feet on here. Well, you call them something like that, but it's the sheep roller here. 
so it gets a little more pressure in the ground look at that thing go told you man i used to run these back in the day watch out for this bush excuse me there we go did you just say excuse me to a bush so how are you gonna feel you know me living kind of above you if that makes sense well i still am the one who uh, employs you so i'll feel fine but i definitely am more upset with the guy who sold this to you since like i've wanted it for such a long time and you just come in and right away get it yeah that's what man he just doesn't like you he said ever since you built there and he bought a few vehicles from you and it just didn't work out i guess i asked him if he wanted to swim in the lake ever or anything and he's just always just telling me to get off his lawn and stuff like that and i'm like okay fine i think we got a good base set out need to do a bit more leveling there but i'll probably bring the skid steer in and then send my truck just text it says he's gonna be here in about 20 minutes so let's get this all prepped up well, it's two hours later now, and as you can tell, we are bringing something for the project. And I think we're making this project a little bigger than we need to, but hey, it's better to have the right tool for the job. We went down to the rental store, grabbed this Kubota 75, and then uh, stump grinder on it too. The stump grinder is so expensive, but this is going to cost me $500 to rent it for the day. So 500 bucks to rent it for the day, and we got to take out probably three stumps. These are stumps we need to grind it out. We can't just leave them. And don't ask me how we got this on my pickup truck because it was sketchy and i didn't want to record it here we go boss man's doing some work yes sir but we kind of decided we probably got to take out this big tree that i was loving and then probably this little guy for the driveway and i think we're going to take out this bigger is it uh i don't know what kind of pine i think it's a pine yep so we're gonna try and leave this little guy that looks pretty good there but we'll see but we got to get the stumps out this is an uh, interesting setup you got going i didn't expect to see it on your truck bed or yeah dude it's like uh, a trailer it's clapping out the old uh oh it's not good it's it, it's destroying the shocks how are we getting this i off? think it's going off oh. on its own uh oh you're squatting okay yeah did you get uh any kind of insurance on this thing? no just don't show them don't take any pictures of it or anything all right timber where you at boss okay there you are don't knock it on this cat over she's here she's coming down no, man, I, I used to uh, be an arborist for like 10, 20 years. Mm, I, see. I remember you telling me early on when you were working for me that it was like five years. Interesting. Nah, probably like 20. Right after I got uh, done running the rollers. How old are you? 25. When are the supplies coming to actually build this thing? Are they? Oh, oh I didn't realize that. They aren't here? No, not yet. Okay, uh, I'm going to give them a call when I get done with these stumps. We aren't really ready for them anyway, so I, I'm actually not too mad okay and how much are you spending on supplies it's gonna be you know i'm not 100 percent for sure right now but i i already wrote a check for five thousand so five grand for the land this guy to rent this skid steer was 500 bucks and then five thousand materials so far that i bought but we might be short all right we got it prepped ready to go garrett let's go what do you want to eat man jimmy john's yeah man i'm starving we we need to get oh. food and i got a phone call they were saying that they're going to be laying the foundation Perfect. Here pretty soon. Send my guys are almost here. That's perfect. All right, let's uh let's head out here. All right. Jump in and we'll head out. Hopefully by the time we get back from lunch, we'll, maybe we'll take an extra five ten minutes and uh, the foundation should be in. How was your Jimmy John's, Garrett? I like the sliced wheat, man. That's good. Yeah, man. It was pretty good. I'd say nine out of ten. Wow, they did a good job with this. Nothing better than that, man. You go to Jim John's, get some lunch, and then you come back and the foundation's already in. Look at that. Yeah, so these are just uh, like templates, if it kind of makes sense. So it is going to be a lot like Legos. And this mod will show you kind of how it works. Garrett's going to be the official crane operator, the one placing them in. I think I'm going to be the designer, man. I'm going to tell you where to put them, where I want the windows. I want a big window right here. I actually might get rid of some of this. We don't need this as much. I'll figure that out later, but I want to be able to look over, over you. For sure, but also you probably do want a bit of a driveway. That's true. Yep. I think we'll, this is where I'm going to park vehicles, have you know a little bit of yard space, stuff like that yeah so that's all for later we got to work on this actual structure right now so i agree let's... i agree i'm getting ahead of myself all right garrett get in the crane man you're gonna be runner so I'll kind of show you guys how it's gonna work technically we don't have a crane here and all that but you can see garrett's placing down the blocks this one's a little funky there's a we're, we're getting the hang of it and there's i guess i would call them teeth that go in the bottom into the squares you probably call them pegging holes there we go they're dropping down this is gonna come together and then we'll figure out like yep you guys saw the teeth fall right in there here we go so we're gonna build out this wall it doesn't take too long obviously we'll have the front door somewhere around here all 
All right, this is the house. It's a little rough and we are limited. We are very limited and I see why people don't build with this material, but we have the main structural support beam in, all the walls in, and this is gonna be my house. I was like, Eric, can you build me a bathroom, a bedroom? He's like, mm, probably not. So what, just open concept? Isn't that the new thing? Yeah, open concept. And we will be putting the roof on here though, but in case That's we important. break everything, we want we wanted to show you guys the progress. Please drop a like on this video. It, it, it's taken a while to record. This is a great mod, guys. Definitely recommend you get it, but just know that you gotta be patient. It, it's like Lego. It is like Legos, yes. That's a good way to describe it. You gotta be patient. You gotta read the instructions. That always helps. But Garrett, place down the roof, man. Let's get her done. All right, wish us good luck. Oh, and I, I want a window, man. Can you get me a window? We can get you one window. You want it facing the shop? Yes, I want it facing the shop. Okay, we will get that window made. Here's your house. All right, man, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's it's a little... Wait, where's my window go? Yeah, so your window doesn't work. We, we might try it again someday, but we almost broke the whole structure. It's good, it's good. You know, like this is, it's a structure, you can live in it. It's pretty big. Maybe, yeah, maybe get a bed. You might need to get a Lego bed, but... <laughs> Yeah, and where's your camper, man? I haven't seen that thing around uh, here. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I guess I don't need it now that I have a house. Oh, are you going to like give it to a friend or something? Or I'll probably sell it. Yeah, the house turned out good. I think parking garage, we got to plant some grass and stuff. A few plots, a few plants out front will make it feel a little homier. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's just get some grassy down. Maybe we'll come back here in a few days and see what it looks like. And four. And there it is. We got the grass growing, a little fence. That was Garrett's touch. He thought that would look good, and it did, it, it, or it does. And so there we go. There's the house. Garrett, you look good in it. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely want to get back on my normal outfit because I'm not a fan of this one. What I need you to do, man, is I got to return this by the end of the day. Otherwise, they're going to charge me another hundred bucks on top of the 500. So I need you to return the Kubota with the stump grinder okay. and then I'm going to return the cat. So these were this is what we rented. OK, how much is this cat going to cost you or you find out once you're there? Uh, it's going to be a thousand bucks. I hope that's Thousand. it. Thousand, jeez, but, okay. Yeah, I, I got to get this back by the end of the day too. Otherwise, you know, they upcharge you and stuff. Hopefully you were running it for a bit. Hopefully you didn't damage anything, did you? I don't think you damaged anything of that, but you did kind of get the Kubota to fly off this oh, yeah. thing. So I'll, have I'll make sure to use your card if they ask. No, just play dumb. Just say, oh no, I don't know what happened, but do fill it up with diesel. You got to make sure it's full of diesel before you bring it back. Otherwise they charge you like 10 bucks for a gallon diesel rather than five, so. Okay, and you're gonna pay me for working today, right? Uh, yep, five dollars an hour is what we decided, right? Uh, I think it was like six, six fifty. If All I right, remember yeah, correctly. four, four. That works good. All right, I'll see you back tomorrow at work. And here we go. We're bringing it back to Morgan's Massive Motors. He's gonna charge me a thousand bucks. And then, like I said, I gotta pay Garrett something, boss man. I guess I'm boss man today, but we'll just give him two hundred bucks even. That should be good for the day. All right, there we go. Thousand bucks just to rent that, but it came in handy and it did what we needed, and the house is built. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.